had the best ISO builds in the game last year. I set record after record. I was one of the most consistent in the game. And today, I'm gonna replicate it. The best ISO demigod build in NBA 2K. The build that can dunk on anyone, the build that can speed boost and take anyone off the dribble, while also being able to shoot from anywhere. We about to change the whole game. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double HD, and I'm back in the building with yet another banger. Now, do not skip any part of this video. Trust me, I'm gonna be saying and talking about so many important things that you must know when it comes to this build and other guard builds in NBA 2K21. By the way, uh, don't mind the background gameplay. It's just really showing the pro stick and uh, how much skill gap it has. So uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? If you hate the pro stick function and you hate how 2K21 is trying to work it so much and promoting it so much, drop a like on the video right now because I'm not gonna lie. I think it's terrible. We got dudes airballing layups, but then we got dudes green in full court shots. Like, but listen, subscribe to the channel right now. 300k subs on the way. There's so many people that watch my videos that don't subscribe, bro. It's a click of a button. Just click the button. We're going to have so much gameplay with this build coming up soon, especially when NBA 2K21 drops, and you're not going to want to miss it. But listen, every YouTuber is doing the same thing when it comes to these guard builds, and I know you're sick of it. Everyone's making a playmaking shot creator, or they're going the risky route and making these 2A builds. Well, I'll tell you right now, one of the devs that creates the game literally said that if you don't have a 75 three-pointer, a 70 to 75 three-pointer, you're not going to be able to shoot. A, a lot of YouTubers are saying, oh, well, they say that every year so it's probably not gonna happen but you want to know what they don't say every year as you can see in the tweet right here he said that they're gonna drop a hot fix if it's not the case and basically what that means is they're gonna patch it and patch the gameplay to the point where it is going to happen so they are literally telling us you're not gonna be able to shoot with that low three-point rating anymore so enough with these playmaking shot creators enough with these low three-point builds i'm gonna give you the actual best ISO build in the game and this build could even take screens if you want it to and I'm telling you right now Nobody has made this build not a single person on YouTube has made this build the way I have I have done hours of research hours of testing and I have finally found my demigod build for NBA 2k21 We will be starting a wave with this build. This build is the double H build. This is the best build in my opinion in the build that I will be using in NBA 2K21. So without wasting any more of you guys' time, let's get straight into how to make this build. Let's get it. Okay guys, we are in the builder creator. Now I'm telling you, I researched builds for hours, even a couple days as you can clearly tell. I waited, I waited to find the perfect ISO build that I will be using in NBA 2K21. Now, why you should listen to me? I created three very unique ISO builds in NBA 2K21. You guys know we had a 6-6, a 6-7, a 6-8. Now, most of these had a Hall of Fame playing and a Hall of Fame defense. And I even have the world record win streak on the 1v1 court. And look at my record for yourself. I had a 92 win percent. So clearly, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this 2K stuff. I was also the top rep. Very experienced with this 2K stuff, especially with ISO builds, tall ISO builds. Yeah, I think I found my isolation build for NBA 2K21. Now, whether you you like this build or not this is going to be the build i iso with day one this is going to be my nba 2k21 build and i'm not gonna lie you could compare this build to james harden in the and 2k21 actually compares to the james harden and luka Doncic. so you could even call it a james harden build we're gonna change the game y'all i'm not gonna lie so drop a like on the video right now if you're excited bro because i was ecstatic when i found this build i am so hyped up about this build and i cannot wait to use this build because i know this is going to be so overpowered in nba 2k21 and i'm going to explain why this build is way better than the other builds and why i did everything i did so now the first thing we have to decide is position now really we could go point guard shooting guard or small forward now small forward just doesn't have better attributes or badges it's a little too slow too so i'm not going to go with small forward point guard or shooting guard now i went and i made this exact build on both point guard and shooting guard and compare the stats and the badges directly shooting guard is better okay shooting guard 
has better attributes, has better baddies, and I'll show a screenshot of that once we get to the attributes and all that. Now, hand this, you can go either way. I like left-handed, personal preference. Number, you already know we're going with number one. Now, let's get to the pie charts. Now, you guys know NBA 2K21 added four new pie charts, and I'm actually going to choose one of the new pie charts. And by the way, I have never seen anybody make this build. Nobody has this build, so we're really going to be unique with it. And we're really gonna change the game with it. I'm so excited. But anyways, this is the pie chart I'm going with right here. Mainly blue, a little green, and then the smallest ones are yellow and red. Now you might ask, Double H, why didn't you just go with the half green, half blue? Because with this pie chart that I'm gonna choose, well, it only gets Hall of Fame finishing. With this one, you can get Hall of Fame shooting and finishing. Well, as you can see by the default stats that we compare, this one's gonna have, I didn't choose this one because it's gonna have less ball handling, less driving dunks to the point where I can't speed boost, and I can't get contact dunks. And it's just, it's just not as good. It only gives me a plus two three-pointer. I don't need that plus two three-pointer. On top of that, I don't need Hall of Fame shooting badges because last year, the only reason I needed Hall of Fame shooting badges was to get Hall of Fame quick draw. This year, there's no quick draw. There's a custom jump shot speed. So I'm gonna get that fastest jump shot either way. And on top of that, I'm gonna be able to put down my shooting a little more since I have gold shooting badges and put it somewhere else considering I'm not gonna be spending as much badge points in shooting. Anyway, so we're gonna go with this pie chart right here telling you this pie chart is so underrated now when it comes to the physical profile i want to be as fast as possible i want to be fast so we're going to go with the fastest physical profile which is the first one so what we're going to do is we're going to max close shot max driving lamp max driving dunk as you can see we have 15 driving bed you know i could max all this stuff out. i can get 20 up to 24 we don't need post we don't need, we don't need standing dunk but I want to have four Hall of Fame finishing badges, and I need 16 for that. And if I go up a little bit, as you can see, I can get 16 shooting badges right here. Now, there's no point in going 17 because you just end up spending too much upgrades for that extra badge. So trust me, 16 finishing badges right here is the perfect way to go. Then for shooting, max mid-range, max three-pointer, max free throw, max post -made. As you can see, we have 21 shooting badges. That's too much. I, I even went to look at the badges. I only need exactly 17 shooting badges. And we're gonna show why later in the video so if i put down free throw all the way i have 16 so we're gonna go up until we get 17 and boom right there we have 17 shooting badges playmaking we're gonna max pass accuracy max ball handle now i want more than 13 playmaking badges so we're gonna keep going until i get 16 playmaking badges and i didn't go to 17 because once again it would take too many attributes to go to 17 and it just wouldn't be worth it now defense obviously we have so many offensive bad is that you're probably like oh the defense is gonna be bad on this build no it's not this is why saving my attributes helped me out a lot i can i have enough attributes to max my defensive rebound max my steal max my lateral quickness and max my perimeter defense and that's really all i'm gonna need on defense and look at five defensive badges you're probably thinking oh that's not that's not gonna be enough trust me that's gonna be more than most people a lot of people are making undersized point guards and a lot of people are making playmaking shockers and trust me when i show you guys my wingspan and my height or our defense is gonna be plenty good enough for this game now i'm gonna go ahead and go with a body shape now i you're gonna see in the gameplay i was testing a lot of body shapes and i genuinely think because this year now, when you edit your, your height, it affects how your player looks too. So I'm going to go ahead. I would go with Burly or I would go with Solid. I'm going to go with Solid. I think that looks the best. Now, when it comes to height, 6'6 six, six and up is just too tall. You're going to be too slow. 6'5 is looking pretty good. Now, if you go 6'4, it's just not worth it. Look at I only get a plus one to ball handle. If I got like plus two or three, it would be better. And then 6'3, that's just too short. At this point, 6'4 and 6'3, your driving dunk is just going to be too low. And it's just not gonna be worth it so six five is literally the perfect height now when it comes to weight we want to be as fast as possible okay we're gonna go minimum weight and then as you can see take a look at the physicals on the right i'm gonna keep going up in weight until it puts down accelerations this way i get a little plus one to my accelerate or to my strength so we're gonna go with 179 now when it comes to the wingspan wingspan is so overpowered this year it makes your defensive stats better your driving stats better so what i did is i if you go to max this is too much and you want I don't know why because look if i click a these are my takeover options now i could easily make this build a really good defender and go with lock takeover um i could even make it a slashing takeover um to make my slashing even better play make it take over break some ankles and make my player just faster um or shot creating takeover but i don't want to do that okay so if i go down one it's the same options if i go down again 
I unlock sharpshooting takeover. Now the reason I want sharpshooting takeover is just think about guarding me isolation. Not only am I going to be able to speed boost, I'm going to have Hall of Fame finishing, and then I'm also going to have sharp take. So it's not like I'm just going to be able to rim run. Like I'm going to be lethal behind the three-point line as well. So I'm going to be very hard to guard, okay? So that's why I want to go with spot-up shooter. Two below max wingspan. And let's take a look at the stats now. This was confirmed by Agent Zero. I'm going to put it on the screen. Mike Wang did say he's a director. He's a developer for the 2K team that you do get plus four, plus five stats when you hit 99 overall again. So if we look at our stats right now, we add plus four to plus four or plus five to everything. Ball handle is going to be like an 84 ball hand. Once I get just a little bit of takeover, I'll be able to speed boost in game. Or if I'm playing with someone with floor journal, definitely gonna be able to speed boost in game. But I like, y'all know, if you're a fan of me, you know I like builds that can't speed boost on the first possession. And this is exactly what that is. I'll also be able to have an 86 steal at 99, an 80 lateral quickness, an 82 perimeter defense with a 71 defensive rebound. Those are really good defensive stats with a long wingspan too. That makes up for my defensive badge. And then I'm going to have an 82-3 and an 84 mid-range plus unlimited boost and sharp takeover. I'm basically like a playmaking shot creator at that point. And then on top of that, my driving dunk is going to end up being like an 88 and I'm going to unlock all the contact dunks. Driving layup at 96? are we kidding and a 95 close shot my finishing is going to be ridiculous now with the physicals you have to keep in mind that not only you get plus five but you also get that plus four boosted gatorade now i'm not sure we're not sure exactly how you're going to get that this year but if we do that that's going to be plus nine to everything so 95 speed y'all know that's already faster than my facilitating finisher last year 95 to excel and 81 vertical oh boy this build is gonna be glitchy okay so anyways if you did want to go with playmaking max wingspan might be the move it doesn't go down ball handle and you go play make it take over you also get a higher driving dunk you know that might be the move i'm not gonna lie but i wouldn't go with slashing because you're just making what you're already good at even better you may as well pick something that you know you're not as good at i wouldn't go lock takeover either because if you're i'm gonna be playing twos a lot how many times lock takeover is not gonna help my teammate and it's not gonna help me unless I'm on defense. And I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to be on defense too much, anyways. And I think sharpshooting takeover is better than shot creating takeover when it comes to ISO. So that's why I think it's just better that I get this sharpshooting takeover. Sharpshooting takeover and Hall of Fame finishing. And I can speed boost. And I have long wingspan with those defensive stats. And that's tough! The build name is even glitchy. Okay. A slasher. We have built a slasher shades of james harden one of the best iso players in the nba and luka Doncic. so when people go up against me on the twos and they see slasher with sharp take they're gonna be so confused they are not gonna know how to guard me and if they don't look at the takeover and they just see slasher oh boy they're gonna be leaving me open and that's exactly what i want especially with sharpshooting takeover and if anything i could really just rim run force reverses hop step and then I get takeover, I'm not missing. But anyways, let's get on to the badges and the gameplay. Now, I really strategically upgraded this player because I even went to the badges and made sure, okay, how many badges do I want in each category? And I went with that exact amount so I wouldn't have too many badges in one category to the point where it was affecting another category. So this, trust me, this build took a, a lot of research and a lot of time to create so and one thing to keep in mind the only thing they told us about is quick draw is gone so we don't really know how these badges have changed so i'm just really gonna go off of 2k20 okay finishing i already know exactly what i'm gonna do i hall of fame fancy footwork hall of fame contact finisher so we can get those contact dunks hall of fame slithery extremely overpowered you could either go silver giant and silver acrobat or you can go hall of fame giant slayer one of the two either way works i'm gonna go with this bad setup right here four hall of fame finishing badges now with the shooting badges i really prepared for this i could have got like 21 24 shooting badges on this build but i was like okay i only need 17 because i really looked at this before and i said i only need 17 shooting badges so i lowered my shooting stats and i put it somewhere else like the finishing the playmaking that's what makes this build just so much better so anyways gold green machine gold range extender now obviously in the prelude you don't have hot zones but when i get those hot zones definitely gold hot zone hunter gold dead eye gold difficult shots you best believe i'm gonna be fading with sharpshooting takeover now mike wang did say you're gonna lose energy faster in this year if that's true i would go with tile the shooter on silver if it's not true and it's the same as last year i'll go bronze catch and shoot and bronze corner specialist 
that's this is gonna be my shooting setup right here now with the playmaking badges now this was also very strategic gold quick first step gold handles for days and you already know the aggressive behind the back is back so i'm definitely going with gold tight handles now i'm gonna be playing with a shooting center so i could really go either gold dimer bronze floor general or i can go with gold floor general even though it's not gonna give me the percentages it's still gonna put his stats up plus three and bronze diamond which i'm probably gonna go with i'm gonna go gold stop and go so i can quick stop with this player better and you know what i'm actually gonna take off diamond and put it on unpluggable bronze because that's just the best unpluggable low key no point of putting it on gold and floor general will probably be enough to help out my teammates so we're gonna go with that the perfect amount of playmaking badge then defense now like i said our wingspan is long we have great defensive stats so i'm not worried about the defensive badges too much i'm gonna just go gold clamps silver intimidator gonna make it super simple or if he really did pass intimidator then i'm gonna put bronze intimidator and bronze interceptor because you really only need bronze interceptor to be in those lanes actually yeah this right here is gonna be the perfect setup right here now if you guys didn't know when you are playing in the demo whatever jump shot you pick right here when you click y is actually gonna change your six to that person now, to be honest, the SIGs are just so bad in this game. Keep in mind, the gameplay probably isn't going to be the same as it is in the real 2K21 game. But even if it was, I don't have the right SIGs. I don't have the right dunk packages. I don't have the right dribble moves. I don't have the right anything. I can't even take off my meter. So just keep that in mind. But here is some gameplay we got in the demo with this crazy isolation build that I will be using to start NBA 2K21 okay y'all so here is the gameplay now a couple things to keep in mind number one this is on like hall of fame difficulty number two we're playing like four lockdowns Giannis, eric bledsoe chris middleton etc and i don't have the animations i want i don't have the dunk packages the layup athletes the dribble moves or anything so i really wasn't dribbling i was just attacking the basket hop stepping a little bit getting a couple shots off and i can't even take off my meter but look at that and one like oh my god i really feel like this player can just jump out the gym and i think when i take my meter off i'm gonna be shooting so consistent i feel like takeover is so easy to get i mean if they weren't triple and double teaming me when i get six points it'd probably be a lot easier to get right now but i think in the park it's gonna be easy to get this player just finishes so well and oh my god i cannot wait because i'm gonna be so fast with takeover when i can do that behind the bag and actually put the drill moves on that i want this build is going to be crazy a lot of people that were playing this demo didn't even really get any clips with their builds you know i and i saw that my build was shooting a little bit and that he was driving extremely well even under all these conditions so that's a good sign but anyways guys if this video helped you out at all make sure to drop a like on the video if you're making this build in 2k21 drop a one in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already 300 000 subscribers on the way anyways guys it's been your boy henry aka double hdf man and i'm out yo Peace. I ain't never had no friends, I was all alone She ain't never called my phone, she left me on my own